So Graham, nice to be in Mauritius. Fantastic. Can't wait to start making some changes. Absolutely. So almost every 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 bit of organic waste, no matter what it is, whether it's cane trash or whether it's um, everything from that is used as a waste in your, in your house or wherever, or from from supermarkets or from any waste from fruit and vegetables anywhere, or from cutting prunes and gardens. All of that, as it says there, just oxidizes and becomes part of the carbon cycle and goes back as CO2 into the atmosphere. And our role now, and our sort of rather desperate role, is to intervene and turn it all into humus and hold it there by making stable humus and stay in the soil for 30 years and keep it out of the atmosphere and help uh, revert that, that heating effect. So composting and humus formation is the most important process on the planet. Everyone needs to be looking at it. And it's really as we teach home gardeners how to make their Pumpkin compost boss and the boys are doing the same thing. It's really, really good work. There's nothing more important than one person can do. You can turn off your lights and put on solar power, do the sums. There's nothing more important than building, turning everything you've got that otherwise would be CO2, turn it into the industry from the compost. So compost can be done. So the concept of burning you know, everything, and even for, for your power generation, burning all that material when all that material should have been used in your soil is inherently faulty. It's inherently a faulty concept. Even though you might think that might be the most cost effective way of getting uh, power generation, there should be in the bigger picture a move towards some other more sustainable way of doing it. Because at some point, I mean, the world total, all sorts of people are going to become involved in this, what we feel is the urgency of it, and you won't be allowed to do this. So at some point, you're not going to be able to produce all of that, uh, create all that CO2 and generate your power. You've got to be able to do it sustainably. The, um, the National Citrus Conference in South Africa presenting this paper. But he's shown that inclusion of urea with humic acid magnifies urea's performance by 70%, and that happens to be published within the next month. So a 70% enhanced effect of urea. It's a very good trip. Costs you nothing. Costs nothing to put humic acid with urea because you always take off the cost of it, off the, off the amount of urea you're using, and you always do far better. So it's just a free thing to trial. And once you trial it, I've never met a farmer anywhere in any country who's ever put urea in together who doesn't still do it. You'll always do it once you find out what it does. Here, for example, most of our soils have a, have a paramagnetic reading of about 50 or 100, and we look at this one here, which measures 2,380. That's how good your base is. You just keep 